the many changes that we as humans have had to endure throughout history really seems to be of cyclical matter. Everything about this planet, the universe, your body, anything that is alive follows cycles. If you look at the female body, it has cycles that it follows throughout. If you even look at the male body, it has certain cycles that it follows as well. When we think about creation, or when we think about being created, there are certain things that come to mind. And a lot of these things that come to mind have been programmed there by a particular belief system, science in and of itself. It's also a belief system and everything has been set into motion by theories. Theories sometimes can be proven, sometimes not. What I'm getting at in this morning's talk is that we place sometimes all our eggs in one basket and not realizing that there is really no absolutes about anything in life. We may speculate about things. We may even believe that we have evidence about things. But in reality, do we? There is one thing for sure in life that people are born and people will die. That we have X amount of years that these bodies that we have been given provide us. What you do with this time on this planet doesn't affect your entire spiritual existence as most religiosity theories believe. Because they are theories. Just because you read a book that has been written by mankind doesn't mean that it holds its weight in water. Now, I will respect everyone's belief system because it is yours and you're entitled to believe what you want. But what evidence do we really have of anything? It's not like people are coming back from the dead, you know, telling us that they have experienced this, that, and the other. And although there are people that do die and come back and, and claim, you know, that they've seen heaven and they've seen hell and, and all these different uh, talks that you hear, but how much of that is chemical reactions in the brain that get set forth, like a dream state. You know, when you dream at night and you experience all these things in a dream state, you wake up in the morning, sometimes you remember it, sometimes you don't. What validity do we have? Of these things. So, I do believe that there is an afterlife. I do believe that this is not all it. What kind of purpose would it be to just be born to then die and become food, worm, um, food for worms? I mean, there's got to be more than that. And there's definitely supernatural things that go about in our lives and, and events and things and, and you could feel it if you're in tune. But I don't believe that we are here to be enslaved by a specific deity and to forever worship and to forever do the things that, you know, we're told that we have to do in order to, to reach a higher level in another plane. That's just, I don't know, that's just, to me it makes absolutely no sense. And although I have studied it and I've read it and I have been part of it, you know, um, it just doesn't hold any weight in my, in my view, in my opinion. One thing I do know that love is a very important factor for our spiritual growth. 
you know, loving and being loved, I believe, is the most important thing. And I feel blessed to have found true love. Yes. <laughs> I do feel extremely blessed. Um, it makes your day so much better when you have the person that you love in your life. You know, it's, it's one of those things that, <laughs> you know, having been alone the past six months and not having my person in my life was a struggle. And you try to replace love with other things, material things, food, substances, you know, you name it. All sorts of things we humans try to replace. God. What? God. God, yes. Um, everything that you can possibly think of, you, you try to replace. But in reality, what you are in search for is love because we are made that way. We are made to love and be loved. And when you don't have that, you walk around like a chicken with your head cut off, literally and you self-destruct and you try to hurt others and, and that's, you know, that's what happens. I mean, it's evident, <clears throat> very evident. And love fills your spirit, true love. You know, not this love of this. I mean, I never understood that the whole concept when people would say that they felt the love when Jesus, I never really felt that. You know, I'm, I'm a very concrete type of person. That's part of my Asperger's, you know, and it's like I'm very analytical. You know, I'll take something and I'll break it down. And I, and, you know, I could literally like foretell things by just analyzing and, you know, my mind works that way. And I didn't feel an iota. I didn't. And I had plenty of time to feel it. I was by myself living in the hot desert. You know, I was like, had plenty of time to hear the voice, feel the essence, and I felt nothing. Now, I have felt in my prior beliefs as an agnostic man, spiritual man, um, the abilities that I tap into and being able to be part of this prime creator that I've always felt but the biblical God or Jesus in and of itself I've never felt and I tried um, love I felt for the very first time with this person that is here next to me that beautiful woman right there Hi. Um, good morning good morning right? and um and now, for the very first time, you know, that love has been reciprocated to me. Um, because before, you know, it, <laughs> he's bringing his arms. Yes, like I know. Because I, I feel you. I know you're coming over. I know you very well. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about what you think. You're always beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but it's the most amazing thing ever guys seriously and, mm -hmm. and we have struggled because we have you know our relationship has always been a struggle mm -hmm. I'm um, I sometimes have issues with how I I'm a Cuban man I've got a freaking temper you know and, and I was raised yeah. nah and I was raised you know by a Cuban father who also had a very bad temper, um, but he was abusive. I'm not abusive. I would never, you know, strike mm -hmm. or anything like that. I just, when I'm Asperger and I'm in a certain way, I sometimes, you know, I'll raise my voice because that's how I was raised. In my house, there was a lot of yelling. What's oh, that? A lot of yelling. You know, yelling was like the norm. What's that? Yeah, it was. And it was just part of like, even when we weren't arguing, they were yelling, you know, it's uh -huh. like, you know, that's the way it, but, and, uh, it's, it's 
squeeze, squeeze. You know, I'm not on any tea yet, and I could see changes. Oh, me too. <laughs> Look at my chest. It's hair. all good. <laughs> my chest. Hair. I know. That's a lot of tea. TMI. Yeah, TMI. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I was like, if you're a woman, why are you lying in bed naked? Because <laughs> that's my Exposing norm. Exposing yourself. Because <laughs> that's my norm. I mean, I just, you know. Like, I am not buying this stick. <laughs> it's just like, no. I mean, I'm on not, every level. I've had friends who tell me, never saw you as a female. <laughs> And it's like, well, I tried, you know, that's what people wanted to see. And Sister Maritza. Oh, God. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just me. I know. I know. Can you imagine how torturous it is for me, though, having to go through all that? I can't. You know? I can't. I, this hair just doesn't. Isn't, isn't woman yeah. hair? No, that's <laughs> not that's not a little like, peach fuzz, you know. Fring. Each one grows out, and it's like. <laughs> Sometimes I get like three hair follicles. Oh three goodness. hairs. I, I mean, this beard. Look how thick it is. Yeah, no. I mean, the hair is very coarse. Everyone. Yeah, it's not like you could just. It's great to snuggle with. But... I know. <laughs> yeah. It's not hirsutism. No. <laughs> this no, is, yeah. It's not. It's something else. Yeah. It's it's an intersex condition that, unfortunately, those that believe a certain way just, you know, their belief system doesn't allow them to have compassion on people that are different than they are yeah. and different than what they have been told is the norm, you know. I mean, things happen in life. Not everything's the same. No. But, you know, they need to really expand away from that little box that they've been placed in and, and stop living life like you're back in elementary school when you were told what was good or what was bad, you know. And it's like, everything is about growing and learning spiritually, folks. Seriously. And if you don't make mistakes, you can't grow. And if you don't expand your horizons, you can't grow. This is like a video game. In order to get to the next level, you have to face certain things. And it's all good. But the most important thing of all is love. If you don't have love in your life, it's empty. You squeeze me. I squeeze. I squeaky. <laughs> yeah, I hate the squeaky. I do. It's good. So. So. I suggest. I suggest. That you all open yourself up. That you all open yourself up. And allow love in. And allow love. Make that the most important quest in your life. Not about buying stuff, not about filling your house with crap. Huh? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Who are you yeah, talking yeah. to me? <laughs> Did you say <laughs> Lena? <laughs> this is the thing about Mark, is that he gets away with saying things <laughs> to people without saying things to people. He's got like that little, you know, yeah. avenue of like, you know. It's a gift. Yeah, he's like, and if you are Lena, <laughs> and you buy too much, and you realize, it's like, hello, you're talking to me. <laughs> I'm not just talking to you. There are other people like there you. There are other Lenas like you. Oh, God. <laughs> not the same issue as you. But um, seriously, though. Yeah. Mine's because of I know. many things. I know. Love heals all. Love heals all. Yeah, for those of you who think we're crazy, you know, 
because we believe like in esoteric stuff or different things that you might not agree with. I was just reading a book. We've been reading it on the way to town because it's like God forsaken long drive. Forty five minute drive. Although it's beautiful and the car almost got blown off the <laughs> the wind yesterday. The yesterday because it was like so kind of stormy a little bit. Um, you know that God in the Bible is basically an extraterrestrial and people don't believe in aliens but you believe in God <laughs> and if you believe in God then you believe in aliens because you know even that Jesus wasn't even born of a regular relationship mm -hmm. it was some kind of impregnation by an alien mm -hmm. being you know into the body of a human mm -hmm. female and you know it's no different than what you find in Genesis 6 4 where they said that the sons of men sons of God took mm -hmm. the daughters of men mm -hmm. and bore children exactly. and stuff is the same concept but you guys there's so much that you don't understand so much that you don't allow yourself to realize when reading things that things are not as you would imagine them to be yeah. just not so think about that a little bit and uh, we'll probably you know we we'll work a lot so we don't have a lot of time to, no. to make shows but i would love to uh, put together something um explaining all that stuff that we're reading and uh, trying to educate people um what what really is going down and, and what has been going down and how a lot of these, I like to call fairy tales, have been put together to kind of appease, you know, that hunger that we have in the search of who are we, who created us, and all that stuff. And um, there's a lot out there, you know, way above and beyond the Bible, and a lot of information that, you know, is important. <laughs> it's important. It, but not as important as love. love. Love is, love is the key. Love just makes everything go around and makes everything much better. We were in a conversation with a friend last night and we talked about certain things with, um, what was it? Oh, just like being in a church service and stuff and how things can be misconstrued as being like the Holy Spirit, I know. <laughs> the power of God, or whatever. But your lights are on and you know, the colored lights and all the smoke and everything in your typical modern church service these days. Mm -hmm. And it's like it sets you up for like this experience that kind of like psychologically allows you to like feel something. Dopamine right? release. It's, um, so it's like, like psychedelics yeah, in it's a way. Like you taking know? mushrooms or any other type of, um, you know, altering. Um, Mood, substance, mind altering yeah. substance, yeah. And, and a yeah. lot of these priests that's what they used to call them high priests they would take substances, and they're through these substances and experiences is what they wrote you know, the little book that you all follow. But, um, just food for thought, yeah, something to think about that you may not have thought about when you were hearing about things that you were taught. Yeah. So no judgment here. We don't judge you. You can believe whatever it is that you want. But, you know, we just like to share our perspective as two individuals who have walked the walk that you are walking on. And, I mean, you were raised in it. I was raised Jehovah Witness. I, I became very intrigued about learning about spirituality and all this stuff. And then I was a Christian for a little season. And um, it's just, it didn't fit. It didn't fit at all. And... It's not for me. I, I, I need more than that very simpleton approach, you know. And again, no judgment, no whatever. You all believe what you want. But for me, it just didn't cut it. Yeah. It just came up lacking. Yeah. I mean, for me as well, after yeah. how many years? And mm -hmm. I, I don't, 
I don't know. I mean, I would think that this deity of whatever would have some kind of relevance, you know, but it never happened for me. Either. All right, guys, so uh, we'll see you in a minute. Get up. We gotta go to work. Go to work. Yeah. You know. It's a long drive. I'm gonna drive. Oh, yesterday? So right. frustrating. Fix, hold on a second. I got it. There we go. So frustrating. We were doing an Instacart order. And sometimes I have these orders where it's online only and you get a barcode and you don't need to use the Instacart card to pay for things, which they issue you to pay for things typically. Yeah. So we're in the middle of getting things done and those stupid self-checkouts are always so annoying. And it's yeah. like, help is on the Dang. way. So someone, Make sure you put the stuff in the so bag. So the lady comes over because, you know, it's like, oh. Let me let's clear the machine. Let's let's look at the video because now you know everything's recorded. Everything's on. She goes, everything's good. Is it an online pay? Yeah, it's online pay. Doop. Receipt comes out. Like, we're, we're not done, done with yet, the order. Lady. She's like, oh, I thought you were done. And it's like, no. no. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oh, we're gonna have to take you to the customer service yes. desk to make sure that we get rid of, get done with the rest of this order. And it's like back and forth. I had to call Instacart. We had to like get in a chat conversation and wait. Yeah. And then they had to like void every single transaction. And they had to redo time. it all over again. Yeah. And the key with us is like we've, we've got a rhythm. We're pretty fast now, you know. And, you know, we try to get good service. There's a better service. The quicker service you do, the more tip you get and stuff like that. And, yeah, I mean, it was just. So we had picked everything up. But within like 30 minutes and it was like we got 50 minutes in order to pick things up but we're faster because we're two people so we get that done and then we're thinking that we could get to the customer early and it took like another 25 minutes in order to get rechecked out because we had to start over from the beginning and then yeah so it was yeah, sometimes <clears throat> sometimes Sometimes, sometimes you have to roll with it though. Yeah, but the it's fun. The lady felt very, <clears throat> very, very like bad. bad. Yeah. And then she's like, I can help you I with the scan. It's like, no, just just stay. I away. could scan it just, quicker just for you. Stay it's stay like, no, no, thank you. We got a we got a no, message. We please. got a message. So. Anyway, guys, yeah. we're gonna let uh -huh. you go because we got things to do, places to go. But people to kiss. kiss. Yeah. Oh, person to kiss. This is really good. <laughs> really it's a good. Life. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful life. Mm -hmm. sure All right, guys. Love you. But remember to always love yourselves too.